So far this winter season, the big weather story has been the amazingly low temperatures and the wind chills in the minus double figures. The worst of it was yesterday, of course, but we haven't had much snow at all so far. There's a little snow in the forecast, but not too much. Kelly Love will talk about that in a few minutes, but today's flashback is really in stark contrast to this year's winter season. By 19 years ago today, January 9th, 1996, we were measuring snowfall in feet, and the resulting conditions were quite hazardous, as you'll see now. Very big shovel, very big heart. So people drive on, on street better. Most of the snow banks are taller than five-year-old Rashawn Williams. Still, here he is, helping out. In accumulation like this, it's the only way. Just neighbors helping neighbors. How'd you like to be the mailman enduring house after house of this? Impossible in a drift this large. There is something unusual about this drift, but you have to look closely to see it. It's a fire hydrant buried in what? Three feet of snow here? In case of some kind of emergency, this really would mean disaster. Cars inches away, but there's nowhere else to go. In this Warwick neighborhood, not a bit of clear sidewalk. No one's bothered. In the city, the same story. Residents share the road with unwilling donors. That is, those who can reach it. Talk about your obstacles. This is what you get at a lot of intersections. You can't see me, and I can't see you till about here. At that time, I'm already out in the middle of the road. Oh yeah, that was, a, that was a problem snowstorm, of course. In fact, by the end of that winter, well over 100 inches of snow fell. I was talking in the newsroom to Gary Lay about this uh, yesterday afternoon, and he recalls 105 or 106 inches of snow that entire season. A bad winter, the winter of 95 into 1996. And Andrea Brody, the reporter here in 1996, probably hasn't had to report on snowstorms that big in a long time. She's now a TV reporter in Miami, Florida. And that's flashback for this Friday morning.